Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosalheimer here at the first of today's two um, official protests in Jerusalem against the Russian war on Ukraine. This one is being held directly outside the Knesset, Israel's parliament. There's another protest planned for 6 p.m. today at uh, Kikar Safra, which is the Jerusalem municipality square. I've been here for about 30 minutes at this point and a few chants have been heard repeatedly. Probably the most uh, prominent one has been uh, Bennett Red Mehagader, which means Bennett, get off the fence. And that's referring to that the fact that Israel's uh, Prime Minister, Natalie Bennett, really hasn't taken a very strong stance so far against Russia. He's kind of left it up to his foreign minister, Yair Lapid, uh, to issue starker condemnations. And that's a reflection of the fact that Israel has, unusually among nations, relatively good relations with both uh, Russia and Ukraine. So the attendance at uh, the rally here today in Jerusalem is uh, relatively good. There is a, a good turnout of people here, not quite as big as uh, the rally in Tel Aviv last night. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, there is a strong show of support here, both from the local Ukrainian community um, and from English speakers and from Hebrew speakers as well. So there's been a good demo here and people are calling on the government um, pretty aggressively in order to take a tougher stand uh, on the current war uh, going on in Ukraine and to condemn the Russian action in much stronger terms than they've been doing to date. My name is Ken. And uh, I'm here on a demonstration against the war in Ukraine uh, for support of Ukraine, for support of the civil society, um, for uh, applying pressure on the Israeli police to further um, help Ukraine and send uh, war assistance. Desperately need, um, you know, uh, weapons, but also all sorts of uh, humanitarian aid and I think that our government is a in a position which can deliver, but unfortunately, because of you know uh, geopolitical, let's say um, geopolitical pressures and so on, and in the world stage, Israel is kind of reluctant and hesitant. And we want to encourage, we want to encourage those in the government, the Knesset, which already supports um, further assistance to Ukraine, because we believe that's the right thing. <laughs> כולנו נמצא באלם. אנחנו לא תומכים במלחמה הזאת. הרוסים לא תומכים במלחמה הזאת. כולנו נגד. פוטין, תעצור זהו. בנט, תעזור לנו. ישראל, תעזרי לנו. אנחנו גם ישראלים. אני יהודי ואני גם רוסי. יש לי גם זהות יהודית, יש לי גם זהות רוסית. תעזרו לנו, כולם. בנט תעזור, בנט 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 בנט תעזור, ברזל לאוקראינה, כיפת ברזל לאוקראינה, כיפת ברזל לאוקראינה, כיפת ברזל לאוקראינה, בנט תתעורר, בנט תתעורר, בנט תתעורר Bennett, red me a gadel. Bennett, red me a gadel. Bennett, red me a gadel. Decisive action right now. Do you not think that Israel Israel's hands are tied with what's going on, the Russian support in Syria? No, Israel tries to play uh, to play like both sides instead of having a um, um, clear voice against the Russian imperialism, mass, massive scale crimes against humanity that are done on the land on the soil of Ukraine right now. Putin, Russia! 